So right after we received our platypus, we gave them access to the pools and the nest areas, and within a few minutes, they were out already exploring. We saw our male uh, foraging for food, hunting, doing some really positive behaviors, and our female climbing and exploring a new habitat pretty quickly. Well, my days usually start at around 6 a.m., and the first thing that I do is I try to locate where our two platypus have been sleeping. Uh, I'll work my way down the tunnel to their nest boxes until I find them, and once I do, I'll close them off to the back area so that I can go inside their habitat. I'll usually put on waders about this high, I go into the little pools and I'll clean up after them. They eat crayfish every day, so I go in and see how much crayfish that they have available to them. I usually replenish their stock in the morning, and then I'll throw in some eucalyptus browse daily as well. The platypus love to swim throughout the browse, so I like to keep that stuff pretty fresh. After I uh, clean up all their pools and throw some browse in, I'll give them access back to their habitat, and then I'll monitor their behavior. And then there's some video footage I like to review too. Our platypus are pretty active at all times of the day, so I like to look at our video footage and see what they've been up to all night. People have been really excited to see the platypus. They're such a unique, odd animal. The, the first time they see it, the first thing that most people say is that they're a lot smaller than they thought. And then after that, people just kind of stop and stare at them for about uh, a few minutes or so, just taking it all in. But it's a really fun experience. Sometimes there could be a little bit of a line, but I think people are in pretty good spirit to see such a special animal. One of the benefits of having platypus here at the safari park is really just visibility. You can't see platypus outside of Australia, so now that they're finally here, people are going to have that opportunity to see them in person. I think once you see them in person too, they're really just inspiring, so it may even motivate the next generation of wildlife care specialists.